This sightseeing boat intruded into dangerous waters, but the tourists on board were unaware of it. Soon a humpback whale appeared and spouted water to warn, but the people were completely unaware. They thought they were in for a rare whale show. This time the humpback whale jumped right out of the water, at the same time hissed to warn, and the humans on the boat did not take this huge creature seriously. A few moments later, the humpback whale repositioned itself again. This time he was completely enraged. He accelerated to the surface with all his might. whale, weighing several dozen tons, falling vertically from tens of meters above the sea, instantly splitting the ship in half. It was then that the passengers realized the danger, and not far away. A group of killer whales were also coming in this direction. Also coming was Kimura. As a marine researcher, he happened to be in the vicinity, so he started to carry out emergency rescue. But by now the killer whales had already arrived at the scene, and started to attack humans. In the face of this ocean giant, humans could not be more insignificant. They bite a child, not even bite without bite directly eaten alive. The lucky ones were saved by Kimura on the boat and others can only fall into the whale's meal. But the weird thing is, whales are not aggressive creatures. It is easy not to harm humans. And what was puzzling to Kimura was that, after the attack, one of the killer whales ran aground, and there were many wounds on the outside of his body. It is known that among all creatures known to man, no orca has ever caused such damage. And the strange thing doesn't stop there. On the other side, Casey and her colleagues. Casey and his colleagues were putting a sonar detector into the water. That's when David finds a floating object. Casey picked it up with a hook. It looked soft and soft like a kind of taiyaki, but Casey took out a lighter. The floating floating object was instantly ignited. It turned out to be a methane hydrate, also known as fire ice. It comes from the deepest layers of the ocean. Methane is frozen in the process of being released. Only occasionally does a piece of it come to the surface. That's when David reminded Casey, there's more than just one or two pieces. This is a very unusual phenomenon. Casey immediately took out her cell phone and photographed it. If the first two events are just a coincidence, then the next thing is very difficult to explain. In the same vicinity of the sea, a fishing boat caught a few lobsters. They were soon taken to the back of the restaurant. The chef took out his knife and prepared to slaughter them, but he found something wrong with the lobster. His abdomen oozed a sticky white liquid. The chef thought the lobster was not fresh enough, but when he got close enough to observe, the lobster had exploded on itself. From its body sprayed a lot of white liquid, and there was a strong burning sensation. Finally, under the instructions of the sous chef, the waitress threw the lobster into the garbage disposal, and it was this action of hers, led to a horrible disaster. Soon the chef became unwell. He was about to go outside for some fresh air, but as soon as he saw the wind, breathing became extremely difficult. Finally fell headlong to the ground. A large amount of black liquid came out of his mouth, soon no longer breathing. This series of bizarre events finally attracted the attention of the research department. They sent a huge research ship to explore the sea. Soon the submersible reached the bottom of the ocean. At first there was nothing unusual, but then a white object suddenly appeared. After zooming in they were surprised to find, white object appeared on a group of unknown creatures. In the current knowledge of human beings, under this kind of environment and temperature, there can be no living creatures. In order to find out the truth, they caught a worm for research, judging from its size and teeth. This kind of worm has not existed before. Could it be a new species with a mutation? Or maybe it didn't come from Earth at all. But what is certain is that, the strange events that happened before, must be related to this worm. So we decided to enter the sea again to explore. And this time, we brought a special drill. The submersible came to the worm area again. But to everyone's surprise, in less than a day's time, the worm has grown several times in size. The captain immediately ordered to open the drill, to see what is hidden under the sea. But soon after the start, there was an accident. The drill seems to have disturbed something. It caused a strong vibration and sound. Man dives 100 meters into the sea to find the humpback whales hiding here. Strangely enough, they were tail up and head down. They were now completely vertical in the deep sea. Kimura found them while they were still asleep. He carefully found one of them to investigate why the whales were eating people. He attached a camera to the whale's skin, but before he could escape, the whale began to wake up in such deep water. If the whale touched him, he would die. The Kali saw this and immediately opened the boat, ready to escape from here at any time. Kimura had to take off the counterweight, swim to the surface with all his might. Luckily, the whale was just waking up and did not notice Kimura's presence. Afterwards, he found his teacher, a marine researcher from Japan. He thought that this biological mutation, it's likely to be related to nuclear radiation contamination. Not only did the whales show abnormalities, even the most common shellfish, they have also undergone a very rare mutation. Their reproduction rate has increased several times compared to before. In just one day, they grew all over the bottom of the huge ship. In order to find the correlation, Kimura brought the shellfish to the research institute. And after studying them, the shellfish had teeth like mouth parts, the same as the worms found under the sea before, and the white sticky liquid it secreted. It also looked like the one secreted by a lobster a few days ago. The people who were touched
touched by the lobster's liquid at that time. After that, they all died after failing to save their lives. It seems that this liquid is very deadly, and in the body of the dead whale, a similar white liquid was found in the dead whale. What's scary is that this mutation has started to spread from the deep sea to the city. This couple was talking on the bridge. They accidentally dropped their book into the sea. The disturbance of the book awakened a large number of mutant jellyfish and slowly emerged from the water. And the pollution of the water caused a large number of human discomfort. Medical system instantly collapsed. And from the infected body, surprised to find, a parasite appeared in their blood. And at a very fast rate, it eats blood. That day, Kimura received a signal. The previously installed camera suddenly appeared. He drove his boat to the signal area. He retrieved the camera and brought it to the institute. Then he immediately opened the video to view the truth that caused all these mutations. Will it appear in the video or not? And as the whales swam deeper and deeper, a horrible thing is about to appear. From the eyes of several people can easily see. This kind of thing is absolutely subversive existence. The man took out a fishing net with a wave of force into the sea. And the strange thing happened. He don't know what the net caught. No matter how hard he pulled it, it would not move. The hand slipped and fell directly into the water. Seeing the net sink into the water, the man took a sharp breath, dived into the sea. After a short dive to the bottom of the water, now he found that the net was hooked by rocks. He immediately took out a knife and began to cut. He didn't notice that something was watching him. Soon he realized something was wrong. A school of strange fish suddenly appeared, and they were hovering above his head. They seemed to be controlled by something. The next second, they surrounded the man directly. Finally, they ate the man. And this weird thing didn't just happen in the daytime. At night an expedition ship is working at sea. I's feeling a little sleepy ready to go to the deck to get some air. But soon after he went out, the ship suddenly vibrated. And the sound system also sent a strong signal. This phenomenon is very rare. It had never happened before. And judging from the water splash around the ship, this creature must be very large. Strong vibrations continued to occur. In a few moments, the ship was swallowed up. What kind of creature? What kind of creature could possess such a terrifying power? Maybe only the camera information that Kimura has can give the answer. This crab was affected by nuclear wastewater. Its body turned snow white. The woman was frightened by its appearance. But the man laughed at her for not being nervous. But the next second he couldn't laugh anymore. At that moment, a swarm of crabs came rushing in. They were affected by the nuclear radiation. The crawling speed became very fast. The two men did not have time to think about it and ran. In the nick of time, they started the motorcycle. This kind of crab is different from other crabs. If bitten by it, it will certainly be dead or injured. Due to excessive tension, the man lost control when turning. Instantly became unmealed for the crab army. And what's even more frightening is, this level of mutation have appeared one after another across the country. Their movements are very uniform. Seems to be controlled by some kind of force. To solve the mystery, we can only rely on the video that Kimura took. But after repeated studies, they found that, the whales in the video were attracted by a mysterious glowing object, diving vertically to the bottom of the sea hundreds of meters deep. But what exactly is the origin of the glowing object? For the time being, there is no answer. The situation is urgent. Experts propose to the top management, stop all fish hunting around the coast. But in order to save the economy and jobs, decisively rejected their proposal. They had no choice but to carry out salvage exploration and send submersibles again to study deeper into the sea. A new species had been discovered on the seafloor, a mutant worm with a mouthpiece. Hopefully, this time there will be something new to discover. On the other side, the lab has made new progress in the new species that appeared in different seas. The same sequence of DNA was found in new species from different seas. But is it related to the nuclear emissions? Kimura remembered the cargo ship from Japan. The bottom of the ship was full of parasites, so he went to the port alone at night. But before he could find a chance, he was discovered by the dock watch and arrested as a thief. When his college teacher found out about it, he made bail for him. But to get out of here, they had to explain to the Japanese side. Soon the two sides started a video link. He told the Japanese side his suspicions, but the Japanese side refused to admit it. After hanging up with Kimura, the Japanese representative went on to talk to the domestic leadership in order to keep the overall situation in mind. Finally decided to let Kimura take the samples away. Due to the possibility of nuclear radiation in the samples, the escort had to be fully protected. After they were sent to the laboratory, they were sent to the lab and started dissecting and studying. The mutated crab was already rotting inside, turned into green juice. Researchers extracted some of the fluid, came under the microscope to observe. What was found in the crab's body directly overturned everyone's perception. This crab was exposed to nuclear waste water radiation. All the tissues in the body turned milky white. A few days ago they suddenly mutated, on a large scale on the beach, and attacked the fishermen nearby. They are supposed to be the lowest level of creatures, but why do they have such high intelligence and behavior? Through the study of the crab's internal tissues, it was discovered that their cells had already mutated. They are controlled by a mysterious germ. That's when it dawned on everyone. The recent whale attacks on humans and the white fluid shot out of the lobster's body should be infected with this germ. They control the mind of the infected body and launched an attack on humans. This speculation is very bold. If this is really the case, it would overturn all human perceptions. To further formalize the speculation, Kareem took the high-tech equipment to the area where the whales attacked humans, preparing to continue to observe the whales' movements. After arranging everything, he was just about to leave. There was a strange 
phenomenon around him, a large number of seabirds suddenly appeared, this is very abnormal, at this moment the tide was reversing, the fishermen nearby knew very well, this phenomenon means that a tsunami is coming, they immediately began to evacuate and flee the beach, in less than a few minutes, the waves were like a high wall, rushing towards the land, waves of tens of meters high rose up from the ground, everywhere was a mess, in a critical situation, Kareem managed to escape from the area by plane, a press conference was held immediately afterwards, experts believe that, the sudden tsunami, is likely to be related to the mysterious germs, not only can they control marine life, the power they possess is beyond imagination, this suspicion is basically confirmed, but where are the germs coming from, they think it's not just the nuclear wastewater, there must be some higher power controlling it, even an extraterrestrial civilization could be ruled out, but to continue the research, it would take a lot of money and manpower, so they applied to the government for financial support, Kareem gave a detailed description of the situation, but that's a ridiculous claim, no one would believe it, their request was eventually rejected, and ordered to stop the research, without the support of the government, it was difficult to sustain the research, when everyone was discouraged, the Japanese representative suddenly approached Kareem, he offered to bear all the costs alone, to support Kareem's research, but there was one condition, any results from the research, he would be the first to share them, although Kareem did not understand his intentions, but it was a rare opportunity for their research team, so they agreed to do so, then he announced the news to everyone, and was ready to leave for the deep sea immediately, and before they left, everyone went home to see their relatives, because they all knew in their hearts, this research is very dangerous, it is very likely that they will never return, this is also considered to be the last goodbye to the family, but at this time, no one knew, what was waiting for them, will be a ceiling level disaster, this is a species that mankind has never seen before, a collective intelligent creature from an alien planet, they have no fixed form, they have been hiding quietly in the depths of the ocean, until humans discharged and wastewater into the sea, which led to the destruction of their living environment, so they decided to fight back against mankind, millions of strange worms appeared on the sea floor, even the gentle whales, and human favorite lobsters were manipulated by them and attacked humans, they even caused a 100 year tsunami, in order to solve this extinction crisis, the research team led by Kareem, ready to go to the arctic to find out, because through research, this is the place where these alien creatures converge, at this point, for everyone, no one knew what was going to happen next, soon the ship arrived at the designated location, through the sonar, they were surprised to find, there was a baby like cry coming from the bottom of the sea, seems to be sending some kind of signal to humans, but with the technology we have now, there is no way to decipher the meaning, so Klaus and Carrie, decided to take a submersible to the depths of the sea to see, soon they arrived at the bottom of the sea, that's when the radar came back, alien life should be nearby, but the strange thing is, but the strange thing is that they can't be seen through the human eye, perhaps they sense the hostility of humans, once again, they made a strange sound, even interfered with the signal of the whole ship, the probe was ultimately unsuccessful, the two men decided to return to the ship immediately, but at that moment, Carrie seemed to find something in the water, but she thought she was hallucinating, so she did not report to everyone, and it was her decision to do so, led to the near death of everyone, at this time, everyone was studying the structure of the seafloor, but Sarah accidentally discovered, inside the cabin of the seawater pool, emitted a strange blue glow, while releasing some kind of interference, causing the ship to have an indirect power outage, Sarah was too close to the pool, fainted directly next to the pool, and through examination it was determined, it was the alien intelligent creatures that attacked her, when the submersible returned to the ship, they entered the ship with the water, but the strange thing is that Sarah did not die, instead, there was a large ulcer on the surface of her skin, doctors extracted some fluid from her spine, they were ready to analyze her more deeply, but the results were surprising to everyone, after the attack by the alien creature, Sarah was not infected by the germs, instead, she successfully fused with the cells, this means that we have found a way to deal with the alien creatures, on the other hand, Carrie came to the pool, if she had reported it at that time, she would not be in this situation, but just as she was repenting, the blue light emitted from the pool again, but the strange thing is that this time it didn't attack Carrie, instead, it kept changing color in the water, because they are intelligent collective creatures, they don't have physical characteristics, so they come together, to make up the appearance of various underwater creatures, I thought they were doing this to show humans a good time, but it is obvious that humans think too much, at the same time, another big wave of tsunami is happening, it's destroying Japan, this means that the alien creatures have not given up their attacks, instead, they are retaliating even more frantically, on the other hand, Krista extracted a substance from Sarah's spinal fluid, Krista managed to extract a substance from Sarah's spinal fluid, it can be interpreted as a vaccine, not only can it make humans immune to the virus, it can even kill the alien creatures in the sea, to verify its stability, Krista and Klaus went to the pool, and put a drop of the vaccine into the water, the reaction was very fast, the alien creatures immediately began to decompose, but out of their own self-preservation, they changed form again, and at the same time sent out a very penetrating sound wave, although the sound waves did not last long, but Klaus lost his life, and a greater danger came with it, at this point the ship lost control, and crashed directly into an iceberg, and the sound waves had just summoned a larger group of creatures, they surrounded the ship, pushing the ship to start moving fast, obviously 
This was their way of retaliating. They could have easily killed the humans, but they chose to do so much instead. This shows how angry they are. Japan then came up with an idea. He proposed to inject the vaccine into Klaus' corpse, and then throw the bodies into the ocean, so that the vaccine could be amplified indefinitely, and thus kill all the creatures around the ship. At this point, the ship is pushed up against a giant iceberg. The aliens were going to use the rest of the suspended ice to crush the whole ship into pieces. They had no choice but to act immediate. But what they're going to kill this time, it's not just the creatures around the ship. Carrie stepped forward. She suggested that Klaus' body be taken. She proposed taking Klaus' body to the depths of the ocean in a submersible to find the alien's lair. That's the only way to destroy them at the root. It might be a kind of self-redemption for Carrie. To Carrie, it might be a kind of self-redemption. The submersible soon reaches its designated location. But Carrie had a change of heart. At this point, she could clearly see the biome. So she decided to abandon her earlier plan. She decided to use herself as a vaccine carrier. A spirit of fearlessness and dedication instantly filled her entire brain. So she took out the vaccine, injected into her body. Then she opened the hatch of the submersible. The water came in instantly. No one knows if she regretted it or not. The water soon overtook her. But a strange thing happened. Instead of being afraid of the alien creature, instead, they approached with great interest. They even fished Carrie's body out with their own hands. This image is like a ritual. But then a miracle happened. The ice gave up attacking the ship. The people on board were successfully rescued. Perhaps in their minds, Carrie must have managed to kill the creature, to end the creature's attack. But it's not that simple. The scene shifts to the bottom of the ocean. Carrie's hair starts to change color. And from the look of it, the alien creature seems to be merging with Carrie, continuously into her body. And the last scene also confirmed this suspicion. A few days later, Carrie appeared on a beach. She slowly opened her eyes. Her pupils had an eerie blue light. 